Hi everyone, welcome back. For this uh, upcoming session, we have um, Bit Esterman who's going to talk to us about the semi-automatic tagging of images on Wikimedia Commons. Without much further ado, let me hand the mic over to Bit. Bit, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much, Alan. Um, I hope everybody can hear me and see my slides. Yes, we can hear you and see. Okay, slides. perfect. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, today I will uh, tell you uh, a few things about a, a software development project uh, we carried out over the past year. It's about semi automatic tagging of images on Wikimedia Commons. And so maybe I should have chosen the title uh, towards uh, semi-automatic tagging of images on Wikimedia Commons. Um, but let's jump into uh, the story uh, and leave the, that other part for the end uh, to keep up the, the tension. Um, so what was the background for this project? Uh, the original idea or intuition was uh, to leverage the power of artificial intelligence for the tagging of images on commons. And I kind of carried out or mandated a couple of student projects at the Bern University of Applied Sciences back in 2020 and 2021 um, with the idea of leveraging deep learning approaches for the tagging of images. Then we also quite rapidly arrived at the idea that we should not just use the tags that they would provide out of the box, but link the concepts to Wikidata. Uh, then the idea uh, came up to actually develop custom models to escape the, the black box approach of proprietary algorithms. And we also, during the first tests, uh, combining different of these algorithms, uh, we understood that the, the way forward is not fully automatic tagging, uh, but semi-automatic tagging with a human in the loop, because automatic tagging will never be precise enough uh, for the needs, the current needs of uh, Wikimedia Commons and other applications. We then found out that there were actually two tools existing on Wikimedia Commons that we could just combine. Uh, for a start, and we ran a, a pilot project on that. So one of them is the computer uh, aided tagging tool that uses Google Cloud Vision and has been implemented uh, on Wikimedia Commons uh, a few years ago. And the other one is a crowdsourcing tool for the tagging of images, the ESA tool, which has been developed in the context of Wiki Africa. And within one of the, the students projects, we actually created the first proof of concept combining the two, uh, actually creating a, a um, crowdsourcing tool that would uh, take on tag suggestions from the, the computer aided, aided tagging. And now, like this first algorithm uh, from the CAT tool, it actually uses Google Vision, tries to extract entities from the image itself. Whereas we also noted that many images already do have valuable metadata, and we should also find a way uh, to leverage this existing image metadata. So the, the idea then was to kind of add another algorithm to the tool that would uh, kind of extract entities from the existing metadata. That's also making use of all the effort that has already been, been put in into these images, either by the heritage institutions contributing them or by the commons community. Uh, to set up um, uh, the next step of the project in a more um, professional manner than just uh, within student uh, projects, we decided to partner uh, with Switch. Uh, Switch is the, the infrastructure service provider of Swiss universities, and they have been building a so-called connectome project or research data connectome project. And their main uh, application currently is the so-called open data navigator. So the idea is to provide data sets, uh, all kinds of data useful for for uh, researchers and also in education can be publications can be 
uh, further things. And in in the context of this project, obviously the the idea was to also connect uh, images uh, to this knowledge graph. So Switch is a foundation uh, that has been created by Swiss governments and Swiss universities um, when the when the internet actually started to come into existence as an infrastructure service for higher education and research. Uh, they want to enable, maintain, and promote the secure and networked research and education infrastructure in Switzerland. So it's a it's a perfect partner for us then also to reach out uh, to the entire digital humanities community to be connected to universities etc um, the, the further project partners were uh, wikimedia sveria which had kind of officially taken on the maintenance role for the isa tool and uh, they then also mandated software developers and power users of the ESA tool that previously had partly been uh, acting uh, in the volunteer role. And uh, there were like two university partners, uh, the, the Bern University of Applied Sciences and the Bern University of the Grisons, both from Switzerland. And the project goal, as you can imagine, was to implement a prototypical solution for the semi-automatic tagging of images on Wikimedia Commons using this ISA tool, the Google Cloud Vision functionality, and a newly developed algorithm for the extraction of entities based on metadata. Uh, you have here the link to the project website. Uh, the final project report has also been published uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now, so you so that you can have an idea what the ISA tool is about, I would like to give or try giving a, a live demo. I think for that, I need to stop sharing and then share again. Let's see whether that works. It's always fun to, to do uh, live demos on this uh, online. Uh, uh, conferences. So that's the home page of the production version of the, the ISA tool. Uh, just a uh, first disclaimer, it does not have the, the newly developed functions yet, uh, but it's just to give you an idea how it works. So you actually choose a campaign. It's uh, based on campaigns um, that uh, sit on uh, categories on commons. So I'm now tra trying to take the third one architecture in Geneva. So I click on the campaign and I should see, uh, when I click get started, I should see images uh, where I'm asked to select an element uh, to describe what it dis de uh, depicts. So I was lucky, I got an easy, easy one. And I even get some suggestions here from, but I think that comes directly from, from um, I don't know actually why it's uh, so easy hit. Um, these were not uh, suggestions the way they should look in the new tool, but apparently it already works quite well here. Uh, for these very easy ones, I hit save, and then it should directly write to Wikimedia Commons. So if you then go to to Commons and in the edit history. Um, I will maybe not go that far because um, I might lose uh, the screen sharing if I move too far here. Um, if you look in the edit history, you will see uh, that the edit has already been registered there. And then I just move to the next um, image. And here I have the quarter of uh, Oviv. Let's see a district of Geneva. I'm not going to search for more stuff. I'm just sticking uh, to the easy ones for now. And I stop sharing this screen and come back to my presentation. Okay. Presentation view. Yeah. 
So now the technical solution of the new tool uh, looks like that. Um, it has uh, the elements which you have just seen uh, on, in the, and this is like the ESA tool. Um, it's connected with Wikimedia Commons uh, that has been done, demonstrated as well. Uh, we take pictures and then uh, write, uh, depict statements into Wikimedia Commons. Uh, the depict statements always refer to Wikidata items. So that's how the three are connected. And what we added now in addition in this, uh, in the new, in the enhanced version of the tool are two uh, algorithms that bring up suggestions that users will have when they, when they use the tool. Um, one is called the metadata to concept module, taking up, uh, taking out uh, entities from the metadata. And the other one is the Google Cloud Vision. And as you can see here below, uh, the user will have uh, access to this tag, to this tag, so this suggestion ta suggested tags, and can then uh, decide whether they accept it or reject it or just leave it. And then uh, the idea is that the users will become much more uh, productive uh, when using this tool. They don't have to really look up themselves in the metadata. You will have suggestions already. So that's how it looks uh, for the user. It's a screenshot. And the current state of implementation is the following. Like the test version of the enhanced tool has been deployed uh, at the website uh, that's shown here. Um, it has been working quite okay last winter while we were doing user tests. Uh, but currently the situation has become worse. Uh, it's not very re reliable. The tag suggestions from the algorithms are not always working and saving tags is also not always working. So you can play around with it. Maybe you're lucky, uh, but don't worry if you're not lucky, it's not your fault. It's the fault of the implementation of the current uh, implementation. Uh, we have identified a series of potential causes for the issues encountered. And uh, unfortunately, there's not sufficient research, uh, resources currently uh, at Wikimedia Sveria uh, to address bug fixing in a rapid manner. So it has been uh, delayed. Um, we hope to pick it up uh, sometime the coming month. But as you can see um, <laughs> below uh, on this slide, like there's this production version of the tool, which I have just shown you. And I was really happy. I'm really happy that it's working again, but it has actually stopped working between May and August 2023. And we really had to focus on those or Wikimedia Sveria had to focus on those maintenance issues before actually picking up work on, on the research and development project again. So what are the key learnings so far in the project? I think the, the very obvious one is that we need to fix these remaining performance and reliability issues. Otherwise, there's really um, no way forward. It was already uh, quite a frust frustrating experience that the production version went down this year. Uh, it's very annoying for our lead outreach people when you kind of set up a workshop or, or, or present at the conference and then the thing is not working. Uh, we really need to get this fixed first. Then we need to put in more effort into increasing the visibility and take up of the tool among potential contributors. I think there's uh, a big potential that lies kind of unused. Uh, but we also found that it would be good to have uh, a monitoring and an evaluation uh, of the relevance of this ESA tool, maybe then also the enhanced ESA tool with semi-automatic tagging in comparison to other tools and methods that are being used for adding structured data and comments. Um, so let's, for example, take a step back and think of the, the whole situation with this switch data infrastructure, like from the point of view of researchers, I think it does not matter whether the, the data actually gets added through the ESA tool or through another tool. We just need very uh, eff effective and efficient methods of adding those tools. And we need uh, research and a good basis and empirical basis to know uh, 
which tools we want to uh, advise people to use and which tools are reliable, which tools have an organization behind that actually maintains them. Uh, another important aspect we identified was that there is not absolute agreement among the community on commons what constitutes good tagging of images. And we need to further have this dialogue and discussion with the community, I think, within the Wikimedia context, but then also with other users uh, like digital humanists uh, to see what what actually is good tagging of images for them, what is useful, what is less useful, uh, what practices should be avoided. Then uh, this algorithm which we developed ourselves uh, for the metadata extraction, uh, it should be further improved. Uh, we have just set up a first uh, proof of concept for that. And we might also work towards replacing the, the Google Vision algorithm in order to kind of move away from the proprietary approach. Um, then with regard to the research use cases we found, well, we talked to various research teams, researcher teams in Switzerland, and we found that many of them are actually working with images, often also photographs that have either uh, problems related to privacy or issues related to copyright, which prevent them from, from being uploaded uh, to Wikimedia Commons. So the idea as we move forward would be to have a, a, a separate media repository uh, that would still make use of of this uh, of the crowdsourcing tool with its algorithm would still link to Wikidata, uh, but would also have uh, media files outside Wikimedia Commons to to allow researchers to to work on them in the settings that they are allowed to actually work in. And last but not least, we need to clarify the roles and responsibilities with regard to the deployment, operations, and maintenance um, of this tool. If we want to take this a step forward, also in partnership with larger organizations, uh, we need some sort of a service level agreement and we need to be sure uh, that these tools are actually being taken care of uh, if they break. Um, so I will finish with some reflections with regard to the wider community discussion. I think it's relevant here um, at Wikidatacon. Uh, it's probably as re relevant also at the Glam Wiki uh, conference uh, later in November. Uh, I think it resonates quite strongly with some experiences that have been made elsewhere as well regarding tools uh, for the GLAM sector. So just to recall the, the two main goals um, of our strategic direction for 2030, uh, knowledge as a service and knowledge equity. I think this uh, project and this service we're trying to develop here is, it really falls into the first, uh, first of these goals. Like we're trying to build um, software infrastructure in connection with Wikimedia Commons, in connection with Wikidata that serve uh, a community of users uh, outside uh, our movement, but with a lot of synergies uh, with our movement. Regarding knowledge equity, I'd like to point out that the ESA tool originally has been developed in the context of Wiki Africa. We even had a developer on board uh, who actually works from Africa. Uh, the main test users came from Africa, so I think we're also doing quite good um, on the entire Global South uh, perspective. Um, it's important to us also to, to create uh, software that is not just useful for people in the global north or for universities uh, in Europe, uh, but also for any uh, user of within our movement that that may com contribute images and, and image descriptions. So despite of all that, um, somehow it turned out that 
our partner organization wasn't uh, reliable, sufficiently reliable uh, as we expected. And I don't blame anybody here. It's not about um, kind of looking uh, for people to blame, but it's just uh, some reflections as we move forward, what we need to make sure that, um, that we get this properly organized in, in our movement. So for R&D projects, we need reliable partner organizations and these respective movement entities need to be empowered for this role. Uh, this means they need to have uh, proper financial planning that goes across several years. Um, proper resources, uh, resourcing, um, and especially the roles between movement entities need to be clarified. Ideally, chapters would work hand in hand with the foundation and other partners. Um, I also think, and that's not just true for this tool, but for other tools as, as well, uh, within the GLAM wiki field especially, uh, that maintenance and development of important tools and services need to be backed up by an organizational commitment. It's not enough to just have tools being developed and maintained by individual volunteers. Um, it's we're just too much exposed uh, to the risks of somebody not being available, somebody having different interests, um, somebody maybe not having the necess necessary skills to address all the issues that may come come up in connection with the tool. I think we really need to take care of that as a community, as organizations. And the last point, we should become experts in navigating between the volunteer and the paid staff worlds. We need to develop a shared professional culture uh, that englobes both of them. So I think it's, it's, that's a very important strength of our community to be able to combine uh, the two worlds of volunteer developers uh, volunteer contributors on one hand, then we have pa paid staff, and then we have uh, on the other hand also partners uh, that interact with us that often have paid staff, and sometimes also like if you go into the research field, also work with students uh, and, and in less uh, formal uh, environments. And I think that's a, a strength which we need to strengthen as we move forward, and we need to become better at that as well. So the outlook is we want to include structured data on commons in the switch research data connector. So to make all this data on commons also available to researchers in Switzerland, we need to fix the remaining bugs of the enhanced version of the ISA tool. And we want to further develop the metadata to concept algorithm. And I'm going to have a kickoff meeting for that with, stu with the students project at the University of Virginia School of Data Science on next Monday. Thanks a lot for your attention. Um, I'm happy to take your questions and I will stick around also after the presentation. You can approach me in, in, our, in the meeting space if you want. Thank you, thank you, Pete. Um, we will put up the floor uh, questions to the participants. So while everyone is thinking about some questions, oh, we have a hand raise. Um, just want to check. To car, did you raise your hands just now, or did you accidentally um, raise your hand? Okay, uh, Alan, we we have actually a, a question from from the chat in the chat from Yu Chen Li. One weird question. Let's say if there's a label or meta information of a picture from Wiki Commons. Can Lexemes able to be to index this work? For example, if I have a picture, it has a meta property stated blue Geneva. Am I able to index this picture at Lexeme or ISA in other languages searched by Azure Gem? I'm not quite sure whether I, under, I fully understand the question. Um, so, can Lexemes so, be able to index this wording anyway? This is yeah, yeah. So I, I, will, I will try to I will try to answer in several steps, and then maybe the the person who asked the question can uh, jump in again to to see to 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 further uh, elaborate on the question. Um, 
so what we do, we link this text to Wikidata. So Wikidata is multilingual. So for 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 the use uh, of the data afterwards, that's good enough. I think we just need to ensure multilingual coverage of Wikidata, and we link to concepts and not to lexemes. Now, when it comes to the metadata to concept uh, extraction module, um, we are currently str struggling strongly with the recognition of the language because often the uh, the the text bits that are in the metadata don't represent full sentences. So imagine if if the potential of number of languages is above 100 and you just get a, a few uh, proper names with a few words in between, it's it's very hard to guess the, the actual language, which means uh, that it's hard to, to treat it um, with computational computational means, I think we will have to address this uh, issue as we move forward. Uh, another um, approach would be to always explicitly uh, provide the language of the metadata. Some institutions do that when they upload uh, images, but I, I don't think it's standard on Wikimedia Commons to actually provide the language. And what is, makes it actually worse is that uh, on the same uh, comments page, you can have uh, different fields in different languages without this being uh, properly declared. Now, uh, would Lexemes help there? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. I don't know who asked, who asked the question. Uh, Yu Cheng Lin, do you want to jump in? Did I answer your question? Yes, you can. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, my question is, that's my question, but I... Connection problems. <laughs> oh, this is a... Okay, seems not to work. So the approach which I will probably suggest the students to take, and I mean, we have, we have several, we have, uh, if you read the report, we have about six or seven strategies identified how, how we could improve this metadata to concept part. Um, regarding the languages, like my idea would be to take a few major main languages that are easy to distinguish from each other for example like it's very hard to distinguish between italian and spanish but it's not so hard to distinguish between chinese and 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 arabic it's very easy um so we we might go with a subset of languages that are easy to distinguish and, and then at least have not just english support but support for maybe 10 languages that we may be able to distinguish uh, via the script or some other uh, particular feature. Any other questions? Oh yeah, Lydia gave an answer as well. I would rely more on labels on items than like seems for this. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. So there's one question uh, by Chris Baum on um, how does this project re relate to, and there's a link that um, is being uh, shared there. So maybe uh, read if it's possible. Yeah, the link to see oh, it. it has been disabled, it said. Yep, that is correct. Yeah, it's okay. computer aided tagging, which yeah. is uh, no, it it uses... a tool that has been recently disabled. Okay, I don't know whether the entire tool has uh, disabled. I hope not. Um, otherwise, I would have expected that they tell us in advance. Um, we actually use the same API. There's, um, there's a Google Vision API uh, implemented uh, on Commons that is being used for this or has been used for this uh, computer-aided tagging tool. Um, 
it has currently the like from from the point of view of our tool uh, the limitation is that you always need to first include a given uh, category into google vision google cloud vision due to licensing issues they cannot apply it to all the images on commons by default so it's also a subset that makes it a bit tricky uh, but otherwise it's the same tool and uh, for sure we need a human in the loop it's not you can't go uh, for anything automatic and i think uh, when the computer aided tagging tool was uh, introduced at the beginning uh, some community members uh, complained because the, the newly added tags did not uh, correspond to, to, to some community uh, rules uh, what constitutes uh, good tagging. What we found is that if you enter a dialogue with the community regarding good tagging, uh, you will easily find that people have varying ideas. They don't always agree. There's, uh, I would say, uh, a rather conceptually clean approach proposed by some proponents uh, on Wikidata. And on the other hand, you have uh, a very pragmatic approach uh, that is taken by the search team at Wikimedia Foundation. Um, and that is also a bit due to the fact that the, the entire ontologies on like what we discussed earlier today, the, the the class trees are not clean on Wikidata, so it's very hard, or it's not very useful to interfere, interfere, sorry, infer uh, too many things um, based on this information on Wikidata. So the search would rather have um, more direct uh, information on these images instead of trying to analyze the graph. So there's philosophical questions uh, behind that. Uh, when using um, uh, yeah this this tooling and when when using new tools to add tags, um, what we think we could achieve uh, in the ISA tool in the longer term is that we can try to find out what are the good community uh, rules and then uh, try to see how we can nudge the users in this direction. But we can, well, we, currently we're using um, some block lists to avoid um, practices that are really uh, frowned upon by the community. Uh, but that's where it stopped so far, because um, as long as there are no clear guidelines uh, for community members, it's also hard to uh, see whether the tool actually works in that sense or whether it counteracts. Uh, these guidelines. So I hope that's thank you answer enough for that one. Thank you, thank you, Pete. And I believe uh, we are out of time. And um, thank you, everyone, for your question. And if you have any further question, please feel free to move your avatar to Pete later on after he comes off the stage, and we can have. Um, you know, different conversations. As you can see, this is the uh, wonderful thing about uh, this platform, Get a Town. So thank you, Pete. For... Thanks a lot. Um, take care. Take care. And uh, we will take a short break, I think about 10 minutes, slightly more than 10 minutes break before we have our next session. Decotech, explore and compare dictionaries on the French wiki source. So see you all in a very short while. <laughs>